Hello, good morning. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of European markets for the uh, Tuesday, 21st of June 2016. Be sure to visit tradesignaler.com, signals and market updates from leading providers, www.tradesignaler.com. Okay, in terms of the um, uh, the actual market movements this morning, we've had China down overnight, certainly negative, uh, still failing to follow through in terms of uh, the uh, European market rally. Uh, Hang Seng and the Nikkei certainly are finishing positive uh, in terms of the uh, reaction. Now, we did have the US market sell off towards the close. So again, that certainly is a worrying sign uh, in terms of the S&P 500. I'll just share this with you. I was actually in the room before, in the live room, trading room. So those of you that want to join me, uh, certainly join. Uh, follow my Twitter handle. There's a link on there that you can follow and to join me in the live trading room. Uh, in terms of the S&P 500 yesterday, putting in a potential topping tail. Uh, and certainly remains a week, so that will certainly feed through into the US uh, European markets as well. As you can see here, topping tail on the daily chart, certainly uh, resistance at 2100, and that certainly remains the uh, key theme. Uh, and now, a topping tail on the SP certainly is a negative for European markets as well. You do have the inverted head and shoulders formation, but with the daily chart putting in a topic, topping tail, it certainly remains very unlikely now, okay certainly certainly remains very unlikely looking for a potential gap fill to potentially close below okay uh, in terms of european markets let's see exactly where we are uh, the german dax at the moment uh, was holding that 61 percent fib resistance has actually started to move higher now on the back of stronger uh, german data now i did expect that to be factored in but that isn't the case at present the market certainly is rallying very uh, impressively at the moment okay especially the uh, euro stocks certainly pushing higher too as well okay so looking to potentially close that gap by the looks of it at 10.080 or 10.090 certainly seems to be targeting that gap at present okay the 60 minute chart of the german dax at the moment into its 200 ma okay you do have the unfilled gap at 10.090 so watch out there you do have support equals resistance at 10.040 as well so that's another area of resistance for the uh, for the german dax okay in terms of the next potential move in the marketplace okay now in terms, let's just quickly uh, move over now. Let's just see exactly where we stand in this current market zone. Okay, so Euro USD is certainly moving higher at the moment, along with the European equities, which is interesting. Along with European equities, certainly interesting. Okay, so uh, impressive thrust higher at the moment, very, very impressive thrust. But you are looking at resistance at 200 MA. If that fails, then you have previous support equals resistance at 10,040, and then you have gap fill at 10,090. So certainly keep that in mind, okay? Uh, in terms of the 10 minute chart, you were holding the resistance above at uh, 995. We certainly seem to be going for a potential uh, either it's a stop loss hunt or it's led by stronger EU data. Nevertheless, it certainly is uh, remaining bullish and uh, fails to uh, to move lower at this juncture. Okay, in terms of the um, CAC, let's bring up the CAC, give you an update on the French CAC again. Uh, certainly is being propelled higher on the back of that stronger EU data. Uh, market still con continuous, continually move higher, uh, and we are into that 200 MA now. There is an unveil gap at 4400. So again, be aware of that. You are previous support equals resistance at 4390. Okay, 10 minute chart uh, is uh, certainly uh, looking very bullish at present. Daily chart at the moment, you are into that FIB 61% resistance. There is previous support equals resistance at the 4400 level on the French CAC. So watch out for that zone, okay, in terms of the uh, the French CAC. The FTSE 100 chart now, again, we're still at that FIB 75%, uh, folks. That still remains resistance, okay. 60 minute chart at the moment, you're still. Uh, consolidating within that red candle certainly uh, still expecting weakness from my perspective and looking for a potential move lower okay 10 minute chart at the moment you are into gap fill resistance so therefore another opportunity here to potentially short FTSE 100 so we'll certainly be taking advantage of that and looking for weakness on the downside okay in terms of the uh, euro stocks let's just bring up the euro stocks for you See exactly where we stand with the euro stocks again. Euro stocks has negated that resistance at 29.50 and decided to push higher. Okay, 60 minute chart you have resistance at 29.74. Watch out for that resistance. You have gap fill just above uh, at uh, gap fill is currently sitting at uh, 29.90. So again, 29.90 is a possibility as well. So a very impressive thrust higher here. A very, very impressive thrust higher. Market certainly embracing risk and attempting to move higher. Okay.
Uh, now, it certainly, I did expect the uh, economic data to certainly uh, be uh, uh, potentially uh, have a, a bearish effect on the uh, German DAX, especially with the OMT decision, stronger inflation yesterday as well. But it's, the market certainly seems to be buying into it, even with the Bundesbank walking of warning of second half being potentially weak as well. The CBI data this morning certainly has come in stronger for the UK. That's certainly helping the uh, FTSE uh, lift above 6200, 6, okay, for the FTSE. But you are now coming into resistance for European equities. Uh, Volkswagen certainly being sued as well, so that again will be a, a potentially negative effect. Brexit risks significant damage to the UK, so again, markets certainly seem to be uh, ignoring Brexit concerns. That's what, That certainly seems to be a theme. Okay, uh, that certainly is a summation. Be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs. Download the app uh, for tradesignal.com at uh, Google Play and Apple App Store and visit the cfds.com site for your uh, potential bonus of 25%. Okay, I wish you the best and uh, goodbye now.